Hello guys, we're back with another video for the DJ skills exercise number three for the freelancing. So for the exercise number three, first you have to download the exercise file from here. Sorry guys that I previously submitted this file without making any video, so I'll do it again because the video caused some problems. It didn't save, so I need to do it again. Sorry guys for that, but I'll still do it for you. So we'll just open this file here and you have to read the previous instructions that is already based on the previous task it's uh, included in all of the previous tasks but uh, this learning outcome is new and you don't have to uh, be very specific about that it's just to tell you what you're gonna learn in this uh, exercise so we will move on to the problem statement the task and the requirement section which is the main thing so first of all you we need to know that this uh, task is something that we will create the portfolio in our uh, freelancing site freelancing website and uh, you can say uh, our profile and then uh, if you don't have any specific skills you can just put anything you like just anything but don't put any uh, garbage stuff on your profile because that will affect your uh, visibility of your profile in the freelance marketplace so it says in the guideline um, put your efforts to complete the job in a creative and convincing way and in this second guideline it says if you are a beginner and have not completed any project yet then you can use your best sample practice work as your portfolio it means uh, you can add anything you like if you don't han have any previous projects that you've worked on and you don't have any past experiences so uh, continuing with the problem statement maintaining a good portfolio is a great way to showcase your talent the portfolio section uh, it basically it says all in these lines that we need to create a portfolio a beautiful portfolio for our uh, freelancing profile so the buyers can see that and uh, they can uh, they can contact us and they can um, and we will have a much better uh, much better chance to get the job done with the buyer okay so the tasks they gave us is first task is register on any freelance platform which allows adding portfolio uh, so main two <coughs> freelancing platforms are Fiverr and Upwork and I will show you how to add uh, profiles oh sorry uh, how to add portfolio in both of them okay so they also says note if you have already registered on the freelance platform that allows adding portfolio then there is no need to register on a new freelance platform so what it means is we <clears throat> we will only make a new account if we don't have any previous account we will not uh, make a new account if we have a previous account so uh, I have my own account so I will not make a new account I will show you how to do it in this account but I will show you how to make a new account you just have to go to Fiverr if you wanna uh, if you wanna create an account on Fiverr you have to go to Fiverr.com F-I-V-R-R.com and you just have to click this join button when you'll click this join uh, it says it asks you how you want to join the Fiverr you want to continue with your Facebook continue with your Google continue with your Apple ID or you want to continue it with your email <coughs> you can do it however you like it to be if you're already a member of Fiverr you can just sign in from here <coughs> and if you want to uh, join Upwork and sign up for that you'll just go to upwork.com you'll just click this sign up button from here and it will ask you if you want to continue with your Google or you wanna have your work uh, email ID to continue with okay so guys this is all on you you can do wherever you like uh, you can you can uh, you can just do it your way okay so I have already made my profile once you will make your profile it will look something like this okay so I will continue after you make your profile looking like this and this is my uh, Fiverr profile and I'll show you my Upwork profile uh, so I got a message here uh, for the Upwork profile you have to go to settings and here in the my profile section you will go to my profile so 
you can add multiple profiles in the upwork which is these profiles in my id one is general profile for uh, not any specific reason it includes all of this stuff but in the email marketing as i'm an email marketer i made a specific profile for that and uh, i put all of the email marketing stuff in this profile and then you can add a new specific personalized specialized profile as many profile as you want um, suppose if i wanted to create a graphic designer profile or if i want to create a, let's say a content writing profile i can do that by clicking here so uh, i'll show you first on the fiverr how to do it and then i will show you on the upwork how to do these tasks so the first task is register on any freelance platform and adding uh, which allows adding portfolio these two are the major platforms which allows us to add portfolio and then they say screenshot and content mentioned in the above task this is what we have to do so we will just take a screenshot of, of our profile and add it to our word uh, microsoft word that we have to submit to them i'll open my word pro uh, microsoft word so these are uh, specific gigs that are showed on my profile and the work i can do for people and when i'll take a screenshot i will only take screenshot of uh, this profile to show them that i have a profile in the first task I will open my screen snipping tool if you don't see your screen snipping tool in this category then you can search for a screen snipping tool in your windows search bar here i'll just say uh, i'll just copy this and i'll paste it here all right Task one adding uh, no, it will say register and freelance marketplace. Okay, so I'll write register freelance website. <clears throat> I'll just bold it by pressing on control B so here comes the task 2 Why is the task 2 it says collect all the files which reflect the best of your work relevant to your skill set if you do not have any previous work then create sample work of your skill set service provides a screenshot of previous sample work so what uh, what they need us to do is uh, we will attach any of the previous work files that we have worked on in the past couple of years in the uh, Microsoft Word profile so uh, first of all I will write uh, my previous work files bold it and then I will attach the files how am I gonna attach the files uh, the files can be either in the um, picture form or they can be in a written thing you can write it down here as well if you are a content writer but you can add a picture of them as well you can add a picture by going to insert and then here are pictures and then it will uh, take you to your computer screen where you can choose the files I'll browse it to the section where my files are so here they are okay so next task will be Okay, so they said that 
uh, to collect all of the previous files they set us to collect all the previous files but as I only had uh, some of the files so I'll attach um, I'll, I attached only two of them because that will be enough because we're not um, we're not asking them to give us a job we're not uh, applying for the job we're just uh, submitting us submitting them our um, our tasks file so uh, that's only the thing um, that's the exercise so uh, the next thing is write a brief description of your previous work you can explain the tools and techniques you had used to complete the previous jobs so uh, one thing to be very sure of here is they only want the content here not the screenshots okay so I'll write test 3 my tools and skill set and then I will tell them what I'm good at I am a professional marketer and I have used following tools because they asked us to um, they asked us to uh, write down the tools and techniques we used to complete the previous jobs so I'll write down my tools and here you're gonna write your tools that you worked on or you can just uh, imaginary create any of the things that you like if you're a graphic designer you can just write uh, Adobe Photoshop or Pixlr or wherever you want any uh, software that you might not have worked but that can be relevant to your experience okay so uh, I'm, I'm writing my experienced uh, tools so I think that's enough the five are enough because uh, it's only an exercise I'm not submitting for the job interview okay so the test four comes Upload the files which you have already collected in task 2 with the description in the portfolio section of your freelance account. After creating your portfolio successfully, uh, take the screenshots. Uh, so now they want us to upload a portfolio in our profiles in the Upwork or Fiverr, uh, wherever you want to do it. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you on both of these uh, websites but you can do it on any one of these as well so how you can create a portfolio here you will just go to your profile after going to your profile these will be the gigs that are that will be showing that you um, the work that you can do for people I have made these gigs these four gigs uh, these are the works that I can do for people so um they don't have to know that <laughs> i made this today or uh from very start so i'll take my first screenshot from here i'll attach this first one adding portfolio but remember that this is not the portfolio screenshot I'll show you how to add a portfolio so in each of these gigs you can edit them and you can um, you can show what you can do in the form of pictures here so as you can see this is the first picture that the people will see while they see my gig uh, on my profile but this is the second one it says I am email marketing certified and the third one is the email template that I created for one of my employer and then it shows the uh, certificate again so uh, this is something that's 
called portfolio how you can add it uh, if you haven't made any gig before you can add a new gig from your profile I'll show you when you will have a new profile these gigs will not appear only this section create a gig section will appear in your profile and you have to just click on it and afterwards you have to fill all these details and when you will go to this uh, next next uh, steps you will go to this gallery section and then you will have the permission to add files and pictures on this so I already have made my gig but I can still edit it I'll, I can edit it and go to the uh, picture section gallery section here and then I can uh, so the pictures look <laughs> so stupid here but uh, we can remove these or replace them change them wherever we want to do we can do it I'll just go to my So here the pictures uploading you can just uh, do this what happened okay so you have to save the changes from here or you can save it from here why is it stuck or refresh it okay So yeah, it's uploaded. So uh, we can just save it. Change is saved. So I'll go back uh, onto my profile. Oh sorry, my profile. Editing it. Oh uh, no, just uh, looking into it. Seeing this, I can take a screenshot of this. Okay, so this is your portfolio that you're showing to others so this was from Fiverr and now we're gonna do it for the Upwork Upwork is uh, much easier to do it so Upwork in Upwork you if you had a, a specific profile for uh, the specific task for your specific skill you have to scroll down you can see uh, prepackaged projects you can add here uh, there are testimonials here you can add here this portfolio that I have already added but I can add some new as well <coughs> so how it goes is I'll have to write a project title suppose uh, emails the email is saving in the email marketing profile okay so I can add a completion date as well which is optional you can look into it and uh, you can add it if you want but you can also skip it I'm skipping it and I'll go to select template so this is the section where you can add multiple pictures in the gallery section case study means you can add some PDFs and classic means you can add some pictures as well as uh, PDFs okay so I'm gonna add some pictures I'll go to gallery section so it says uh, drag images here and uh, or browse for to upload I'll browse I'll just add one of my previous past work anything so here I can select uh, these as well uh, it's it ask me uh, email marketing services if one if I want to choose any industry experience b to b b to c if I want to choose any business size project URL these are optional project description this is not optional you have to write something in this so I already have a project description that I can use don't write your contact details here you can uh, add a caption here as well if you had multiple pictures you 
you can select the cover image which you want to choose if i had multiple pictures it i can choose from uh, the two or three pictures which picture should be the cover image i can add a caption as well i can edit this picture to be cropped as it would look to the employer it suits best it will do a quick uploading we will go down go to preview so this will how it will look this is how it will look and uh, I'll just publish it so it will take us to the uh, link that will share this so these are not two I will delete one of them I am deleting the previous one okay uh, so you can add multiple stuff here as I did so you, you just have to take this a screenshot of this step here was test for that's all uh, there were only four tasks that they wanted us to do all right I have completed all my tasks successfully so the thing else that they say is we have to submit the file you just have to save this file uh, control s and uh, write anything exercise 3 digital marketing and uh, please uh, double check that this is in the docs format either it should be in the docs or the doc okay so the docs is the best and they want us to submit the files in the docs format otherwise they will not be able to open it so we will just save the file and then we will submit it from here I will not resubmit it because I have already submitted but you can just choose file from here and go to your uh, desired folder and just submit it and then the green pop-up will show that the file has been submitted successfully and that's all uh, guys I hope you like the video um, don't forget to leave a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, guys I will also like to hear your opinion on uh, uh, how to improve my videos and uh, uh, how many marks did you get on the previous past uh, tests that you gave and quizzes as well as on exercises by looking into my videos or some other guys videos and uh, how many marks did you get because I had 10 out of 10 from here here and here and uh, in the comments it says excellent in the all of three comments you, sh you can tell me yours as well uh, that will be wonderful and helpful for me that's all guys uh, I hope you like my video thank you so much for watching so peace out